A one, two, three, four. I love so Jesus and you do too. They're so beautiful, fun and new. The gift that keeps on giving on and on. So watch my videos, we'll all have fun. I'm a knowledge that whenever there's a young little thing growing out of a succulent, what happens is that it is attacked by mealybugs. So this right here has got to go. I don't know what to do with these guys because um, every time I do something to this, like I, I sit it out, try to see if um, it'll root up. It doesn't really root up. And then um, when I push it into soil, it doesn't really give me anything it just ends up like I don't know it, some some of them do some of them don't so it's really a toss-up every time um, I see an offshoot right here and I really hate to throw it away because you just never know um, I don't know the name of this Echeveria I just bought the Echeveria somewhere I can't even remember where I bought it um, but in my research I found something quite like it. It looks like an agavoid, but it is not. It is something rare because I haven't seen anything like it. And then um, in the same pot where I bought it, there was a volunteer. And this baby right here looks like a Mexican snowball. This is really like... <laughs> It really likes to grow but it doesn't look like a regular Mexican snowball it looks like a more of a Korean one so I am just really impressed by it because, oh, um, I added some more soil because the roots are coming out this way so I figure if I can cover that with some more soil it'll start growing again but you know, eventually, anything that you plant, you re repot, um, that's just gonna sink like lower and lower as you as you water the plants. Uh, it just gets compacted and compacted. So it's a good idea to add soil anyway to any of your plants. So that's what I'm doing. So yeah, these two right here were in the same pot. This was about this big when I found it um, in, in the pot with this guy. I thought it was the same plant, but no, it's not the same plant because... Let's turn this over here. Look at the baby. Looks nothing like this guy. So it is a volunteer. Um, thinking it's a Mexican snowball from Korea. But if you guys uh, know what it is and are sure about it let me know in the comments below hi guys so i wanted to do a quick update on remember that plant the plant before this this video okay so okay so here's what happened is that because of the rain it got too much water so it probably um kind of rotted the middle stem this is what happens, okay? Even for someone as <laughs> like me who has been at this game for quite some time, it's still going to happen to you. So what I'm going to do is even if there's a baby there, I'm going to cut it like where it's it's dried up and dead and stuff and it's just hanging on by a thread, but still it's still giving enough uh, nurture or nourishment to the plant after the leaves fell off okay so it only has these leaves left it wants to survive and that's why that's happening that's happening so now I'm I got more than what I bargained for um, which is great you know considering <laughs> Um, that's the that's after a year okay it, it was a year last March but it's probably been before since before that 
but uh, neglectfully uh, what I what happened is I kept it in this plastic pot and I bet you if I repot it it will um, do a lot better I think so that's her she's she's struggling I mean she's not struggling really because she's got new hope there and a whole bunch of roots coming out of the new stem it so to speak so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that baby I'm gonna try to um, plant it next to it as best I could but I'm not sure if that one will survive that one baby one but I have three other ones four five that's a lot right we'll see I still don't know what the name of this plant is but hopefully someone somebody out there can tell me and I'll wait I'll just wait until it grows a little bit more but yeah I don't know what happened there it was a nice plant and all of a sudden boom the water is the enemy at you know in this situation <laughs> the water is an enemy so like I said the water so therefore there's another plant that was planted right next to it remember her she also had a problem okay I don't know maybe it's a, these little pots but this one did a lot better because now she has a baby and um, I'm just going to put uh, a bunch of rocks or uh, dressing for her sorry okay I'm just gonna put a bunch of dressing around here like rocks and stuff just to hold number one to hold this plant down the baby hold it down and then when I water the water won't sit um, on the soil because of the the rock so what's gonna happen is that it's going to kind of protect um, around the stem right there and it's just gonna get water because usually I don't really water right right next to the plant because I don't know how much water it, the stem is going to get but in this situation right here this other one this was rain I'm pretty sure um, yeah that was left out in the rain and it just got too much I should have what I should have done and this is again I'm the guinea pig and you guys are um, getting the benefit of this from my experience uh, that plastic will hold the moisture in a lot longer than terracotta terracotta because of its porous uh, its porous material will not stay in the pot so it dissipate the water dissipates in the sides a lot a lot faster than a non-porous plastic pot that was my first mistake was to keep it in this pot right here and that's pretty much it so what I'm gonna do is and I'm not gonna bore you with it um, I will show you until the part oh you know what I'm gonna do okay this is what I'm gonna do I'm going to cut it right there Get my, right there and include the roots okay I'm going to include the roots well the roots are already here so it's not gonna bother it then I'm going to take this because I know that there's a lot of roots under under there and repot that in another terracotta pot in a small you know like a smaller one depending on how big the roots are I'm gonna keep all the roots just in case so this one can have a, a chance to live yeah you have to strategically do that I'm I might even be able to put both of them in one bigger pot bam see how big that is I'm not gonna leave it like this I won't leave it like this because I already know it's struggling like this this part so if 
the worst if the worst case scenario is that this uh, this stem right here the the leftover one will dry up and kill this plant which I don't really think it's gonna happen because I'm gonna disconnect this one from the original stem instead let it grow as much as it, it can and then when it grows roots from where it's at then the, then it will be the step the stem the dead stem right here will be null and void anyway and then I'm gonna wait until this one grows a little bit bigger and then repot that in a, another either in the same pot this no well, it's gonna be in this pot um, either replant it there in the same pot or put it put it in its separate pot because I don't want anything to die in you guys you know I, I really it, it kills my soul when I see something die even though we're gonna get casualties you know especially the you guys who are just starting out we're gonna have casualties don't feel bad about that even though I just said I feel bad it kills my soul <laughs> Um, but you get over it that's what I mean just get over it because uh, we're depending on where these guys come from really you know like this one I was thinking it should be big it should be way bigger than this okay however that could be just my um, overreaching and overachievement it could be just a small plant you know it looks kind of like a Lola doesn't it it looks kind of like a Lola so yeah, so that's it guys. Uh, I'm going to give you another update hopefully soon. <clears throat> Hi guys. <laughs> I thought this video was over. I guess not. Because when I cut the... When I cut the stem off, this thing is 100% dead. No life. So this plant right here had grown roots right there so now I don't know what to do I don't want to kill it, this one but I do want to repot it so I don't know I think I'm gonna have to ugh, I'm just gonna have to like detach detach this I will have to detach this guy right here. I'm sorry, boo. I have to do it. Because if I don't, if I just laid that here like this, then I would be sacrificing bigger plants right there. See the bigger ones? I don't know. I just maybe just have to play it by ear because there is roots coming out of here. It was just feeding off of the, the moisture in the air. That's all I was doing. <sighs> I pray for you. Okay, so here we are. See how I just, I just set it on, a, on the side. But on the other side, I didn't even let those growths, the babies, touch the soil. And so what I'm going to do is just water around it and not directly on it. Unless, of course, it rains and then we have the same problem. But I'm going to keep, a, keep an eye on it just to make sure that when that root right there... Come on, baby. I'm gonna take a picture so that those roots touch the soil and start digging. I'm gonna uh, bury some more, bury it some more in, with um, with some more soil. Hopefully, I don't forget about it. We'll see. But I think it's okay now because it was just holding on to nothing. You know, you remember I showed you the the stem is just totally dead. But look how so pretty and then I put it in this pot which is another terracotta pot 
but this one is painted it's painted but um, I think it's like matte paint so um, it's not going to hold the the moisture in or the real wet get it real wet because even though it is a painted terracotta pot it's still um, porous so if anything it'll stop right by the paint like behind the paint but yeah and then this guy right here is in its own pot with her little baby right there we'll see what happens to her <laughs> I didn't change the pot I kept her in the same pot but I put the pebbles around I know I you know I don't really like rocks in my plants but because it's so sensitive I would feel I'm I'll feel better because there's covering around it you know and there she is still don't know her name but I think it's a Lola That's it. this is the new soil this is our new soil and that is infused with worm casting and worm casting just does so much you know what if I get so much worm casting I will share it with you guys I will sell it on my Etsy um, <clears throat> they're expensive you know I mean not, not that I'm gonna pass the expense to you guys but uh, I will have it um, for sale in my Etsy when I get a lot when I get so much uh, but you guys can also grow it yourselves we'll see so that's the story, Morning Glory. Have a great, great uh, day. And I hope to see you soon. And hopefully you come back. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hit the like button. Help your girl out. S donate some money. I'm going to have all the information. Buy from my Amazon. And um, all that information will be uh, in the description. And if you need any tools or any uh, pesticides or supplies whatever um, anything that you've seen in my my videos please help a girl out and use my link to go buy it in amazon thank you guys bye xoxo Mwah.